Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Most people believe it's shallow to choose a career based mainly on money and status, but being human, they often succumb, foregoing careers that would be more contributory and pleasurable. So, in recognition of that common human craving, here are some careers offering big money and status. Some careers that you might expect to hear on this list aren't. For example, psychologist, architect, and veterinarian, because too often, they don't get great pay. First on the list is executive. Job titles like director, VP, and C-suite, that is CEO or CTO, of course exist in all sectors, for-profit, non-profit, and government. And in some circles, your friends might deem one of those sectors as more prestigious. Alas, unless you're starting your own company, the road to VP plus jobs tends to require a long slog through the ranks. Next on the list, college administrator. Top of the heap, of course, is college president, where pay can exceed a half million dollars. But bureaucracy-heavy universities also often pay senior administrators an amount that belies their nonprofit's tax status. Litigation attorney. Many such lawyers like their job because of the intellectual challenge, but less so about the issues about which they're scratching each other's eyes out. Rich entities fighting with each other over often nitpicky, exaggerated pecuniary grievances. Pay for even mid-level attorneys at prominent such firms is typically in the mid-six figures. Judge. This is the most prestigious pivot from litigation's trenches. Not surprising, competition for job jobs, <laughs> judge jobs, is fierce, although less so for traffic court or administrative law judge. Those people handle, for example, in appeals of denial of unemployment compensation or of special education services. Next, high stress, irregular hours, physician specialties, for example, surgeon or anesthesiologist. Maybe surprising, pay for many other specialties of doctor, like internist or general practice, can be quite modest after expenses like office staff and rent, malpractice insurance. Of course, the prestige of any MD specialty is high. Next data scientist. Few people would argue that the present and especially the future is data centric. The data scientist is a brilliant, usually math centric PhD wielder who distills incomprehensibly large data sets into useful information, whether for biomedical, commercial, or nonprofit purposes. Particularly prestigious these days are specialists in what's called deep learning. They develop computers that, based on their correct and incorrect guesses, that is, the computer's correct and incorrect guesses, teach themselves, teach itself, themselves, to keep getting smarter using what are called neural nets. There is debate as to the extent to which computers could ever get smart enough to control people, but that's decades away from leaving the realm of science fiction. Next, space engineer. Understandably, we continue to be fascinated with the universe beyond. Engineers working on manned and unmanned spacecraft is undeniably cool. Alas, you have to be, well, a rocket scientist. Researcher. Particularly prestigious are those trying to cure major diseases, for example, cardiovascular diseases, cancer, and diabetes. And in the psychological realm, for example, um, depression, autism, or Alzheimer's. Alas, to have much control over what you study does require a PhD from a prestigious institution, often a postdoctoral fellowship, and a research agenda that addresses a major problem such as those I've just mentioned. Next, investment banker. While even some analyst level employees in, in, in banks and investment banks make six figures, the status, the high status and high six and even seven figure incomes tend to go to more senior people, especially to the rainmakers, those who bring in big clients. Top name banking firms include Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Citigroup, and Bank of America Merrill Lynch, which have merged. Next, management consultant. If you can get hired, and a designer label degree is usually required, and survive the first few years of 80 hour work weeks, this intellectually stimulating career moves into solid six figure territory and can even approach seven figures before you're 40. The big four consulting firms are KPMG, Ernst & Young, Deloitte, and PricewaterhouseCoopers. Equally prestigious are Accenture, Bain, Booz Allen, McKinsey, and Boston Consulting Group. And finally, airline pilot. Today's modern computer-controlled aircraft is what spawned the term autopilot. For the most part, except the takeoff landing and the rare emergency, 
The job of airline pilot isn't much different than a bus driver's. Yet, airline pilot scores near the top of prestige career rankings. Maybe because it somehow seems sexy. Of course, most mere mortals can only look at such careers from afar and may not even aspire to them, preferring, for example, careers touted in this series' other installments, which you can find just by clicking on my name and you'll see them um, in, you know, above on the top here. Um, but I'd be remiss if the series didn't include this uh, list of careers that appeals to such primal instincts. Any event, thanks for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I'd welcome you giving this a thumbs up or if needed a thumbs down, your comment, hitting the share button, uh, and or subscribing. In any event, again, thanks for watching. I am Marty Nemco.